the general public, they see a city vehicle go by or a garbage truck go by or a fire truck, and they just, they've seen it before, and they don't really think about all the things that go into keeping that unit, whatever it is, doing its job. You think about if you take your car to the dealership, they work on that specific make model uh, all the time. We're going from a tractor and parts and rec to a solid waste truck. And so the diversity of knowledge is you know, intense. These trucks take a lot of abuse doing solid waste. They're picking up 1,200 cans a day and you know, they get bounced around a lot and causes a lot of damage. So every day you're going to have, I've never had a day where there were no trucks that were broken and didn't have any issues. So yeah, there's always something to fix. take drive ups for say a PD, a spotlight or something like that, my headlights out. So um, it's it's a very critical service that we have people available, trained technicians that can help them out at those hours. When you've got fire trucks, garbage trucks, um, crane trucks, there's so many small equipment Creating down concrete, uh, I've printed a whole bunch of different things that I've never seen before. And then next time you see it, hey, I know how to count one, and I know exactly where I gotta go to you know, get parts for it. So we're looking at the whole vehicle with the intent of providing the best service possible at the best price in the most timely manner. We want to keep the fleet going. We have very unique equipment, and when a piece of equipment's down, that means something's not getting done. And so we have to have a very high availability rate, and we're doing it.